Hello, here is a specimen of a kidney which has been bivalved and this is the renal capsule. So you can see that the capsule is not smooth as it would be in a normal kidney. There are many really tiny scars here and um, if you look at the size of the kidney, the width of the kidney is actually smaller than normal. In this instance, it's around 4 to 4.5 cm. Uh, the cut surface shows a thinned renal cortex and some blurring of the cortical medullary junction. So this is an example of end-stage kidney. And let's compare this to another kidney. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison. Now this is not a normal kidney. It is a kidney showing the presence of renal infarcts. But the size of the kidney is more or less normal and I put the scale at roughly uh, similar sizes. And you can see the stark difference in size of the kidney. So end-stage kidney is usually small and shrunken. There may be small cortical scars, as you can see here, and the cortex is thinned, and the cortical medullary junction is blurred. So many conditions can actually contribute to uh, end-stage renal failure, which would result in an end-stage kidney. Uh, examples would be diabetic nephropathy, hypertension, uh, glomerular conditions like glomerulonephritis, uh, even pyelonephritis, and also chronic urinary tract outflow obstruction, which is untreated. All these can contribute to end-stage kidney. And what would we see microscopically? In the renal cortex, we would see that many of the glomeruli are actually sclerosed and they are just replaced by this pink uh, highline material. You no longer appreciate the individual uh, glomerular capillary loops. And uh, in the medulla, we also see that the tubules are atrophic. Sometimes we call this thyroidization because they actually look like uh, thyroid follicles with this pink proteinaceous material that resembles colloid. There is also interstitial fibrosis and sometimes inflammation as well. So in summary, this is an example of a case of end-stage kidney. Uh, many different conditions can contribute to this and what we see grossly is a shrunken small kidney with a thinned cortex and blurred cortical medullary junction and there may also be irregularity and scarring on the renal capsular surface.